What a crazy game that was. I thought the Vikings were going to blow them out at the end of the first quarter. My momentum was riding high. But before we get into the rest of the game, I want to thank you guys. Yesterday, I did an at-home video asking if we could hit 6,000 subscribers. We're already at 6,100. So it's really credit to you guys. And hey, sub for dubs. The Vikings are on a three-game winning streak. This channel's hot. We're gaining subscribers left and right, just like the Vikings are picking up wins left and right. If you, aren't, if you haven't subscribed already, go down, hit that subscribe button. But right now, let's get into my Vikings-Bears post-game reaction. Welcome to the Vikings. Now I'm your host, Patrick Seatman, and everybody just take a deep breath. I was freaking the hell out at the end of that Bears game. Vikings ended up winning 29-22, to 22, but damn, we sure did our, have our heart attacks throughout that game. You look at the quick stat sheet real quick. Justin Fields, he actually had a pretty solid game. Honestly, the Vikings giving up 208 yards to Justin Fields when he's only averaging around 97 per game. Not the best. But Justin Fields, 15-21, 208 yards and a touchdown. Actually, Vikings run defense. We'll touch on them later. But, hey, credit to them. They stepped up pretty well today. But then kind of the main two, Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson, they really balled out in the Vikings 29-22 victory. Now I have some of my notes and takeaways. We'll kind of break this down that way. But my first overall note, Kirk Clutch Cousins. And I know a lot of you guys might be saying, what? Kirk Clutch? That doesn't really make sense. This is his third game in a row with three straight game-winning drives. Kirk started off the game. He was 17 of 17. His first 17 throws ended up 32 of 41 for 296 yards, one touchdown, and one pretty bad interception. I'm not going to lie. That interception he threw, I, I thought the full-on meltdown mode was going to happen in that game. I really did. I thought the Vikings struggled since that Darnell Mooney catch and the Kirk interception. It just kind of was this avalanche that just kept on building and that interception really hurt. But Kirk, fourth quarter, another game-winning drive in the third straight week. I know we get on Kirk all the time, but over the past two years, the amount of game-winning drives he's led, he led four last season. He already has three this year. I just want to, be, before we start, give a shout-out to Kirk freaking Cousins. He, he was fantastic today. Second takeaway, Jefferson, man. Jefferson dominated. I mean, he was fantastic today. I thought Jefferson, I thought if you're talking about best player on the field, honestly, the first or three of the first or four of the first five weeks, it's been Jefferson. Jefferson was great. 12 receptions, 154 yards. I thought he was going to go for his career high a little bit earlier in the game when he was sitting around 122 yards at the end of the first quarter. The Bears really had no answer for him. And I like the way the Vikings came out and I like the way they were aggressive because I did think with this Vikings offense attacking that Bears defense today with no Jalen Johnson. I wanted them to come out of the game, come out of the gates, and have this air raid attack, which they did. Just their offense, they did come a little, they came up short a couple times in the third quarter, and we'll touch on that later. But overall, I thought it was a successful performance out of the Vikes. Now, my third takeaway, this is just the NFC North, man. I mean, it was funny, our Bears host, Harrison Graham, and I, we were talking at the end of the first quarter. We were saying, is this going to be the first time there's a blowout in a Bears-Vikings game? was looking like it at first, but these NFC North games, they're always going to come down to the wire. If you remember the Bears-Vikings game, or the Lions-Vikings game from a couple of weeks ago, that game was insane. Just like this game, I feel like this division, it's always fun to watch, whether it's Lions-Bears, Packers-Bears, these games always come down to the wire. They're always close. Iberflus, Kevin O'Connell, first time these two are facing off. Kevin O'Connell, he gets the win. But this will be the pinned comment on today's video. Who impressed you the most today? You have to pick one Vikings player of who impressed you the most. I'm seeing, I'm going to assume I'm going to see a lot of camera dancers in there right now because of that game-winning strip fumble he had on, guess who? Amir Smith-Marset. How crazy is that? Amir Smith-Marset had the game-losing fumble for the Bears. Just, I mean, thinking about that is crazy to me, but this will be the pinned comment on today's video. Get down in the comments. Who impressed you the most on this Vikings roster? I'm going to go Cameron Dancer for that big-time play he made on the last drive. But I also want to give a shout-out. Proud Sportsbook sponsor, BetUS. If you took the Vikings 7.5 today, a little bit of a heartbreaker for you. They only ended up winning 29-22. to But if you go to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code chat125, 
you'll get a 125% deposit bonus. You might be saying, what does that mean? You put $100 into your account, you're going to get $125 just to play with for free. You could bet on the Vikings winning the division maybe. Packers losing earlier today. Vikings sitting at 4-1. and one. It's looking likely right now. But go to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code chat125. Fourth takeaway, this defense still has concerns, man. This, this, listen, this Bears offense today, I mean, coming into the game, I didn't really have any expectations for this Bears offense, but still, I felt like the Vikings today, they just gave up too many easy ones. If you're looking at what the Bears did, yeah, only 206 total yards and only 141 in the air and then 65 rushing yards. I think a couple of these stats are wrong, but, you know, ignore that for a second. But I do think the Vikings defense overall, I thought they did give up way too many third downs to Justin Fields' legs. Now, I wanted the Vikings to turn Justin Fields into a pocket passer. Did they? Not really. Fields was able to get out of the pocket, use his legs, be mobile like he normally does. I am a little concerned still about this Vikings defense, mainly because this was a chance for the Vikings defense to kind of put their foot on another team's neck and really assert yourself in this league as a top 15, top 10 defense, whatever it may be. And the Bears' offense, it really didn't seem like they were intimidated at all. I thought they felt like they could get whatever they want, especially in the second half. They weren't really able to run the ball as normally as well as they do, but they were still able to move the ball pretty consistently. So I do have some concerns for this Vikings defense. I want to ask you guys, I do this after every postgame show. After week one, I was calling for the Vikings to be 15-2. and two. After the Eagles game, I was calling for the Vikings to be 9-8. and eight. I, you know, I go back and forth on this Vikings record. Right now, though, this team is 4-1. and one. With the Dolphins lit next week, who just got blown out by the New York Jets today. And then we got the Cardinals coming out of the bye, and they're losing to the Eagles right now 7-0. Could the Vikings be sitting at a 6-1, 7-1 start? My record's going to be, I'm going to go 14-3 right now. I'm going to say the Vikings are going to be 14-3. I want you guys to get down, predict the Vikings record for me in the comments below. My fifth takeaway, everybody, like I did at the beginning of the show, take a deep breath. The last three games... That close win against the Lions, the close win against the Saints, and today's close win against the Bears. A win is a win in the NFL. I don't think people realize how hard it is to just actually win one football game in the NFL. And Kevin O'Connell, both sides of the football, new offenses, new defensive system, a whole new si- – it's, it's incredible. It's incredible that this team is 4-1 and one to me. They're having a bunch of new uh, plays, obviously, with Kevin O'Connell bringing it in. I just think that the fact they're 4-1, and one, the fact that maybe they may not be playing their best football, but you're getting out of these games with the victory and you're sitting 4-1, and one, top of the division, that's all I could really ask for. Hey, you guys are a real one. You made it to the end of the video. Shout out to you guys. I love everybody who gets down in the comments and they watch to the end of the videos. They are subscribed. They're liking the videos. So go down, type real one in the comments section. Vikings, 4 and one. I'm going to have you guys covered all week on the latest news, rumors, potential trade candidates, because the Vikings could be a buyer at the NFL trade line. So you're going to want to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Crazy win. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Skull Vikes.